Morning viewers, nice frosty morning this morning. So today we're going to go up to Brybrook. We've got to drench some lambs. Uh, they had a worm count of 1,080 on Sunday. Uh, it's now Thursday. Haven't been able to get up there any earlier because uh, I had to go and finish my dialysis training, but that's now finished. So we can get up there this morning and drench them. So we'll go and do that. So when Sarah did the egg count, there was a mixture of all sorts of worms. There was Barber's pole worm and some other worms as well. So we're going to drench them rather than use Barber Vax. Uh, it's the first day of winter. It's a lovely day. Morning! Morning, says Sarah. I hope that I hope the mic picked that up. It's freezing, but it's, it's, it's good. It's freezing and it's good, yes, yes. yes. And the lemon tree survived. It did. You yeah. got the yeah. little bit of hessian. I need to get yeah. more. Need to get a bit more hessian. Yeah. So whenever there's a frost here, we put a bit of uh, hessian over the lemon tree. Because one uh, must have gin and tonics. Sarah says one must have gin and tonic. That's right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Right on. Let's go. Oh, look at it, yucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zed, look at you. Look at that. Oh, what a mess. That's oh, dear, oh, dear. Definitely oh, dear. Sort of pet, pet. Oh, and oh, it's green. Look at that. That's the worst wool you could ever imagine yes. on the planet. It's coming good, though, down there. Down there, yeah, yeah. Next year, next year. Next year, Zed. Next year, you'll be the star of the it. show. You're the ugliest sheep on the planet, Zed. You are, but anyway, right can't up. help pets, can you? Okay, it? can't help pets. So, we're giving them. Seven mils of start tech. Okay, you could make some commentary on those lines. Yeah. Come on, here, come on. Nice um, frosty morning to be up drenching lambs up at the other block, Briarbrook. We've got a lot in this mob, about 650, so we've just got in about three quarters or half of them at the moment. Um, because it's quite hard to get this number into the yards so Dan's going to drench a couple of races and then go and get the rest of the mob and I'll continue on with the drenching so how are they behaving Dan? They're going pretty well some of them are, some of them don't like the concept no some of them are more wormy than other oops they're, going, they're, they're in pretty good order yeah they are they just got very right. um water stained yeah tip of their wool from the summer. They've had a terrible uh, time with like the last few days too. Yeah, very it's cold been, and windy. Cold and windy. Yeah. Um, so. At least they've had a bit of shelter. But, but they're doing pretty well given they've got a bit of a worm burden and everything. Yeah, it's, it's not too, too two, bad. Two and a half to three condition score, some of them. Oh, there's a pet. Hey. There's a pet, number three here, just nibbled me. Number three? Yeah. Can't remember your name. Yeah, no. Number one and two were Naz and Dirt Music. Yeah. Number three here was, um, was that Nibbler? Oh, don't be silly. Careful. Come on, don't be silly. I'm getting up too far is probably the problem. I'll come That's back. That's alright. Alright, well that might be enough. Turn it off. We've got a lot of feed in this paddock. We've left them in here for a bit longer than we would have ordinarily done because of the fact that we've had COVID and we've been getting this dialysis done. <sighs> anyway, that's just what we had to do. Come here, Pud. So what I'm doing is bringing up these last, I don't know, there might be 100, 150 in this little, little lot here. 
got the bulk of them in first time round, so that was good. Set, put, set, 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 sit down. Come behind, come behind, come behind. Bad dog, bad dog, bad dog. Get in behind, get in here, get in here. Bad dog. Oh, you silly conker of a dog. Sit in, totally in the wrong direction. Sit, 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 sit. Come here, Pud. Oops, I missed a few up there. Look at that. We better go and get them, Pud. Pud. That's what these lambs do. You get little pods of them all over the paddock. Sarah's drenching away down there at the yards while I get this second lot in. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog, Pud. Good dog. Stay there. Stay there. Good dog. Here, come here. Come here. Good dog. Good dog put. Good dog put. Good dog put. Good dog put. That'll do. That'll do. Good dog. Good dog. Come here, put. Come here. Sit. Good dog. Good dog put. Good dog put. Beautiful dog. Beautiful job. Come here, put. Come here, put. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good dog. Time for a refill. Time for a refill. Right. Very good. Got about a race. So while I was uh, bringing that second lot in and then going and checking the goats and whatnot, she was done a whole heap. But we need a bit more juice. Rightio. So this is the last race. How many is in there, do you reckon? No idea. 15 or 20? <laughs> not yep. even that many. Okay, so there's a little bit of Bathurst burr on this, which is not ideal. So there must be a plant somewhere in the paddock. And I'm not quite sure where it is, but anyway, we'll go and have a good look for it later. Um, we, sometimes in this paddock there, I've been on the damn bank, but we've got rid of those. So this one's come in somewhere else. They're in pretty good order, aren't they? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Which is some of those weathers are looking yeah. big, you know, like will be good. Um, he's a two and a half, but, but he's growing well. And his backs are not so good, are they? No, well, the uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is bad. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Let this mob out until nah, I come nah. back. Right up. That's the last of them. That's good. We need to put them in. Quite a big mob. We'll take them away. We've got to put them in a fresh paddock because we've just dosed them. So, anyway, we'll get going and do that. So yesterday and the day before we had some pretty big winds around here and I think the wind speeds would have got up oh, 80, 100 kilometres an hour I think judging by the reports on the radio um, and because the ground's so soft it doesn't take much to blow a tree over. Um, yeah, you can see that. There's another one a bit further up there it didn't blow the whole tree over it just blew the branch off. Good, good, um, fence but, in yeah, good fence posts in that. <laughs> yeah some good fence posts. Yeah some good yeah, good old tree, yeah. Just have to take it very slowly here because that fence isn't the world's best. It's just a plain wire fence and if we get too much pressure on it with these small sheep, they'll pop through the wires. So we have to be a little bit careful. But if we... But anyway, they're just going along nicely, so that's good. A couple of them have got shitty bums, but that's all right. They're only shitty bums. They're not fly struck or anything, so that's good. It's amazing how if you don't put any pressure on sheep, they'll do the right thing. Uh, they're doing pretty good going through there. 
and that gut. So good. Up. That's all good, they're all heading towards the gate in the distance. No worries, in fact, half of them are already through. That's very good. A couple of tail end Charlies here. Very steady, that's all right, no problem. Don't know how well you can see it over there, but there's pasture improved paddock that we put in over there. There's about 50 acres, so uh, that's going up quite nicely with the rye and um, brassica in it. Very good. Yep, he'll just get through the gate, that fella, and that'll be it. All right, very good. All right, well, job's right. That's it for today. The drenching went very smoothly. Everything else went very smoothly. There were no holes in the boundary fence when I checked it, so it's all good. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you. See you next time. See you next time.